Today, we will look at outputting YPB PR component video from our mister to a CRT display. I will also highlight an issue that I ran across and some of you may as well and how to solve it. All right, connecting your mister to an analog CRT. I've had a few hiccups that we're gonna cover here. First, you're gonna need your DB15 slash VGA to component cable. Connect it to your CRT. Spinner on around. In my case, I'm using a nice Sony PVM. <clears throat> Now we're just connecting that DB15 slash VGA adapter in into the mister and plugging our HDMI back in. Shove it back in place. Oh yeah. Okay, I missed that boat. Into your mister scripts, we want to go to the INI settings once again. And the only thing we're going to need to change here is YPBPR. We need to switch that on. Give it a save reboot. After it reboots, you fire up a core, you kick on that CRT, anticipating that beautiful phosphor glow, and you get this. Yeah. I don't know why, but it seems like Mr. Documentation always seems to contradict what I experience. With components, you get your sync signal on green, and anticipating that when I built the mister I made sure to leave sync on green switched on the analog IO board everything I've read or cited states that you must have the sync on green switch enabled to get output to your CRT through component but after 45 minutes of messing with INI file settings I finally tried to switch that from sync on green to OVR and magically everything worked it's kind of frustrating when you get instructions and it's definitively stated that you need sync on green enabled. But as a last ditch effort, you try something different. You switch sync on green off and it works. So I don't know why that is. I, I'm still looking into it, but that was my solution. Your CRT set may be different than mine, but that's what worked for me. I don't know if the silk screening on the board was labeled backwards or I, I don't know what. I don't know why. I don't know. So after spending an unneeded amount of time trying to troubleshoot that situation, I finally get some CRT action. And I've had a similar setup to this using an emulation PC. I had to use custom AMD video drivers, CRT MU drivers. I had to use hackery to not display the PC boot signals to the CRT. I had to go from VGA to component through a YPBPR transcoder. And it was just all kinds of hackery and difficult to set up in RetroArch. I spent hours, countless hours getting everything set up, super resolutions. And it, it was just a giant pain in the ass. Mr. Outputting HDMI and to a CRT through analog at the same time. It's it's so much easier to set up. It's it's amazing, you know, that we have this little machine and this technology now because in the past this was an obstacle to just do what we're doing right here with this. I find it pretty interesting. You can spend hours getting your Mr. set up to output to your modern display through HDMI and get it to acceptable levels you think it looks great but with this option playing right next to a CRT you you can glance over back and forth and see just how much better it looks on CRT you know these games were designed to play on this format with this technology and so it's definitely worth you know looking through Craigslist marketplace eBay wherever even taking a stroll through your neighborhood and I found a CRT that way. I've got a couple 27 inches and maybe I'll fit one on this desk if I can make some more room up. It's definitely worth hunting one of these old CRTs down to, you know, set up. If you have a mister already, why not? You can find them dirt cheap. People are giving them away. You come pick it up. It's yours. Um, you might be surprised how much better things look on a CRT and 
that might be your go-to way of playing the mister after you get one and set one up. So it's definitely worth a look. Check it out. All that's left now is some Damon Byte adapters to use original controllers. And that's something I'm working on. I have a box full of Arduinos and uh, some 3D print files I'm working on to make it a nice streamlined inline adapter device for uh, various systems, NES, PC Engine, Neo Geo, Super NES, Genesis. I might offer those in the future. Might do a video on, on building one of these adapters. Very low latency. That would be the final piece of the puzzle. And so I will just leave you guys with a little bit of footage. Um, it's hard to capture, you know, how well a CRT looks. They look way better in person. But yeah, Mr. on the CRT, definitely worth checking out. So that's going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe.